She said, if we're going to make it like Christmas, on Christmas, you don't just give something away, but you receive something in return. So what do you need from the Lord? Well, I knew what I needed. I needed to be known. I needed to be known as one who is worthy to be known. Here's reality. Jesus Christ said, Dennis Jernigan is worth my life. And that day, that night, with the first drop of his blood, paid the debt that I owed because of my sin that I could not possibly pay. He set me free. And on the, on the recording, you can hear them singing and me sobbing because my heart's breaking. For the first time, I realized Jesus died just for me, took my sin. I was crucified with him that night. I was buried with him that night. Next thing I know, this is all during the course of the song. That's why I'm just weeping. I see Jesus Christ. He's risen and he's saying, Dennis Jernigan, you come forth, but you leave the old you in the grave. He's dead now. This is a brand new Dennis. Most asked question I get in my life is this. Was your healing instant or has it been a process? And the answer is yes. I was healed in an instant and it has been a process. It's both. In an instant, I was given a brand new identity. Brand new identity. I was somebody I was not before. I was a new creation in Christ. And a new creation in Christ, you know, somebody brand new and all the old has passed away. It's in the grave, but it's up to me to leave it buried there. Jesus just, he, he said, Dennis Jernigan, come forth, leave the old you in the grave. It was just like, the process is like this. Remember the story of Lazarus? True story died. Jesus gets to the grave. He's been dead. <laughs> Lazarus is way dead. Jesus, all he says is, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus walked out of that tomb. He was 100% alive, but he was not as free as he was going to be. And the reason we know that is because Jesus said to those around Lazarus, loose from him the grave clothes. You see, we get wrapped up in thinking the things that used to define us still define us. Things like temptation. Temptation doesn't define me. That was a part of the old Dennis. I am not what I'm tempted by. I may not get to choose what I'm tempted by, but I certainly have a choice in how I respond to that temptation. I choose Jesus. I choose my maker. How dare me tell my maker who I am? He is who tells me. He, he is the potter. I am the clay. He is the father. I am the child. That's just it, pure and simple. So for, at this point with this recording, I've been walking towards Jesus for 27 years, asking him to remove the old grave clothes, things like this. Dennis, you don't look good clothed in that angry attitude. And the Lord says, that's not who you are, son. Rip that anger away. That's the old things that used to define you. Look what's exposed now. That heart of peace I gave you, son. That's who you are. Be that. Here's the deal. I am who my father says I am. I am not what my past homosexual experiences say I am. I am not what any present homosexual temptations may say I am. <laughs> Those things have no power. That is absolutely not who I am. In fact, they have so little power on me now that it's hard to believe I was ever that way. Just reality. Just reality. Just reality. Now, uh, if we're going to be who our Father says we are, the enemy's going to fight against us, okay? That's why we need to equip ourselves to continue to put off the old and to put on the new. Whenever the enemy comes, tries to tempt me or cause me to give up, I put on God's word. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. Though I fall, I will rise. Though I dwell in the darkness, the Lord is a light for me. That's Micah 7, 8. Cool thing about when we fall, you see, we're all going to fall. We still will sin. But that's not who I am. I'm not a sinner. I'm a new creation. And yes, I still sin. <laughs> but it's all about relationship. It's all about relationship. If I walk in relationship with my father and I want an intimate relationship, then I'm going to need to be honest. And here's what intimacy with him looks like. Father, here is my heart. Into me, see. And he says back to me, well then, son, here is my heart. 
into me, see? And then we exchange life. And when you exchange life, abundant life is always the result. Always the result. Always. If you are listening to this, watching this, and you don't want to be homosexual, or you don't want to be a drug addict, or you don't want to be an alcoholic, or you don't want to be a habitual liar, or you don't want to be a fake or a hypocrite. There's a way out. There is hope. It's through a relationship with Jesus Christ. And it's, it's pretty simple, really. If you just confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. And what is salvation? That's being given a brand new identity. That's what that is. And it's a step of faith. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. So much healing came into my life from 1981 to 1983 that the Lord gave me a wife. Being married was not the answer. That didn't make me suddenly heterosexual. <laughs> and I did not get married to prove anything to anyone. But I'll tell you this, there was enough healing that I knew that's what I wanted and I knew that's what God wanted for me. So I married Melinda. We've been married 25 years now. And we have nine children. And no, we're not Mormon. We're not Catholic. And they're not adopted. We really wanted them. Four boys, five girls. And here's the deal. I didn't have one of them to prove anything to you or anyone else. I wanted my children. Just like my Heavenly Father wanted me. Is he Lord? Confess it. Do you believe God's raised him from the dead? Believe it. You're born again. That's it. So what does that mean now? Well, now you get to start the incredible journey. And it is an incredible journey. Let me end by just singing this over you. Um, God's word says that he surrounds us with songs of deliverance. This is one of those songs I've heard him sing over me many years ago. Uh, disregard me, hear your father's heart.